Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we're going to be making a simple login GUI that actually loads assets. I pulled the ground stuff from another video which is in the description and edited a lot of good stuff. So, shout out to them. If you need help with anything, contact me on my Discord server, our developer. Link is on the screen and in the description. With that being said, if you don't know anything about UI design on Roblox, I suggest you go watch my UI design tutorials. Link is in the description as well. Now, load up an empty base plate and put some assets you want to load onto it. And we can begin. So first off, go into view and open explore and properties. Now inside the workspace, we need to get the assets we want to load. Just for this video, I'm going to be loading all these trees. So select all the assets that you want to load, which is these trees right here for me. Copy and then delete them. Then inside of replicate storage, insert a folder and then we'll name this asset folder. Then paste, into, paste the objects inside. Make sure you paste it at the original location. Now, let's make our GUI. So, we'll go to start GUI, click on the plus, and insert a screen GUI. We're gonna name this loading screen. Then click on the plus, insert a frame, and set the size to 1010. Make sure you don't use offset, use size. Then, we can set the color. I'm gonna keep it as 202020. 20. Now, after that, we'll name the frame main frame. Then, insert... This is gonna act as our little, uh, rotating circle thing, whatever you wanna call it. Make sure you set the size. Then what we need to do is insert a UI aspect ratio constraint. Then set the aspect ratio to one, set the anchor point to 0.5.5, and then you can resize it to whatever you want. I think this is good. And we'll put it around here. After that, you need to get your little heart circle. I've left one in the description that you can use. It's just a circle, but it's just a circle. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use UI gradients. We're gonna go to transparency, click on the three dots, then click this point, set it to 1, or just drag it up. Then insert two new points in the middle. Click on the first point, set time to 0 0.5, and then click on the second point and set the time to 0 0.501. And then set the value to 0 for the second one, and then for the top one, set the value to 1. And then it should look something like this. You can close out of it, then your little loading thing will look like this. Now what we need to do is we need to make it rotate. So what we're going to do is, we're going to do local ts equals game colon get service tween service local info equals tween info dot new 0 0.5 enum dot easing style dot linear enum dot easing direction equals uh no sorry comma in then comma zero then we'll do while true do ts colon create Spits dot parent info and we'll do these little brackets and we'll do rotation equals 360. Make sure you capitalize the R. And then at the end, click go and play. Then we'll do weight 0.5 spirits dot parent dot rotation equals zero. Once you've done that, we're gonna add a little bit of an assets text so we can see how much assets we have. So click on the plus, add a new text label, and then we can just change it. So edit it to whatever you like. I'm gonna just edit it. I've made mine. Now that I've made mine, it just looks just like this. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna add a little bit of a loading bar. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna click the plus, add a frame, then resize it. I'm gonna make the size just go underneath my little circle. And it should just look like this. Name the frame bar, then duplicate it. Insert a frame inside of it, I'll just duplicate it. Set the size to one one, position zero zero zero. Then the Y position, set the Y position to 0 0.5. Then anchor point, 0, 0 0.5. Then set the size of the second bar to 0010. Just look like that. Then make the other bar background transparency to 1. Then the second bar, we'll need the second bar, load bar. More size pixel, 0. And we can add a UI corner. Now once you're done, we'll get to scripting. Click on the plus in mainframe and insert a local script. Now what we're going to do is we could do local content provide equals game colon service content provider then we'll do local asset folder equals game colon get service replicate storage colon wave child load assets or asset folder my bad colon get descendants then we'll do local load assets equals hashtag asset folder then we'll do for i v in 
pairs asset folder do then we'll do constant provide column preload async then do brackets and mv scripts dot parent dot s to dot parent dot text label dot text equals i dot dot commas slash dot dot load assets then we'll do scripts dot parent dot bar dot load bar dot colon tune size union two dot new i slash load assets zero one zero I will do comma out comma print comma 0 0.5 sorry 0 0.1 true then we're done with that now we just need to tune everything out so what we're gonna do is we'll do ts colon get local ts equals game colon get service tween service then local info equals tween info dot new 0 0.5 enum dot easing style dot linear enum dot easing style in or enum dot easing direction in out actually easing style you can set that to quad what we'll do is we'll do game colon get service replicate storage but we'll wait for child asset folder dot parent equals game colon get service workspace there we go and what we'll do is ts colon create scripts dot parent comma info comma bracket things whatever they're called like i can never forget what remember what they are so we'll do background transparency equals one and at the end come play then just copy and paste this file four times then script up parent dot image label the background transparency do image transparency then script up parent dot text label background transparency we'll do text transparency remember script up parent dot bar dot load bar then you can just leave that it should just look something like this and we'll do weight 0.5 scoot dot parent dot parent colon destroy <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to disable the core gui's like chat and playlist while we're inside of the loading gui so we'll do what we'll do is we'll do game colon get service star gui colon set core gui enabled core gui type sorry you know dot core gui type equals false not equals false do comma false then copy this line you can just paste it then what we'll do is instead of chat we'll do playlist and we'll do backpack then copy these three lines go down here then what we can do is after the wait we'll do this and instead of false do true and another extra thing if you want if you want to add a and another extra thing you can do if you want the player walk speed to be disabled like player movement to be disabled this is what you can do We'll do local player equals game colon get service players a local player local char equals player dot character we'll do character colon wait for child humanoid dot walk speed equals zero then just copy this line paste it and instead of walk speed do jump height then copy these two lines paste it down here and instead of walk speed do 16 16 is the default you can choose a custom one if you want and jump height default is 8.2 also here's a note if you're using jump power the default is 50. so there's a little note so after that the script should look something like this now what we can do is we can go ahead and test out the game and see if it works if you want to see the back and see everything load in, what we'll do is we'll do background transparency equals 0 0.5. Also, just before we test, click on the loading screen, ignore GUI inset, set that to true, and reset on spawn is false. Then, save your game and we can test it out. Right, so we're in the game, we can't see the trees that we placed down, but our little loading bar is going up as the assets are loading. This will change when it's full, the loading will be finished. It'll fade away and the trees are in the game. They have loaded all the assets. And that's how you make a simple UI that loads an asset. So we got our chat back as well, so we can say hello. And we also have our playlist which is back as well. So that's how you make a simple loading UI that actually loads assets. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.